Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the reading. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading, yeah? Let's get into this. Mm -hmm. So we've got this for the first and 15th through, I'm sorry, the 1st through the 15th of May. Um, I, I want to start out just by saying I love you guys, okay? And I say this because it has been really rough for Scorpio in the past few months for these readings that I've been doing for the Zodiac signs. Scorpio has really been going through it. And I, I'm sorry if my laughter is like, you know, I'm not trying to make light of it, but... I just want to let you guys know that I really do love you and I'm here for you and I'm supportive of you and I, I may come across stern at times, but it's all out of love, okay? And there's one thing that's coming through that the, from the universe that I want to say. Scorpio is the sign of transformation and death. Um, and so for those of you who are really struggling or have found yourself with like some sort of life theme of struggling with transformation and transitioning into new things and allowing old things to die out so that new can come through, um, this is absolutely why you have, well, a big part of the reason why you have manifest in this world as a Scorpio sun so that you can learn this lesson of allowing transformation. Yes? Okay, that was a message that the universe wanted me to deliver to you before we got to the cards. So, let's get into this now. All right, Spirit. <clears throat> Please bring... Uh, oh, Spirit. <laughs> sorry, let's start over. 
Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio for this time period of May 1st to the 15th. Thank you very, very much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. So also, um, I'm feeling there is a, a need for you guys to really work on grounding, okay? Taking the lessons that you have been going through lately and grounding them into your physical reality so that you can have an easier time of transitioning, transforming, yeah? If you're really struggling with this, with this lesson or this need to transform and change um, and transcend certain things, the, easier the easiest way for you to really move through that is to ground it into your physical body, into your physical space. Because I feel like a lot of you are having trouble um, transitioning because you're not allowing it to really take hold in the physical for whatever reason. Okay? All right, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, Scorpio. I'm going to shuffle this one more time. And then we can get into it. Here we go, Scorpio. I'm also feeling a little bit of a disconnect from you guys, but I mean, given what, <laughs> given what you've been going through lately, I kind of get it. But it's in that disconnect that you're not allowing things to be grounded with into your reality, and therefore you find yourself going through the same cycles over and over. Yeah. Overall energy. Yep. Three of Swords. But this is you coming to terms with the heartbreak you've been dealing with lately. Okay? You're you're experiencing it. You're starting to see it for what it is. And uh, hey, that's a first step. Princess of Swords in reverse. Or the Knight of... Uh, I'm sorry. The Page of Swords in reverse. Letting go. Letting go of this, I want to say, juvenile mental outlook. Okay, pettiness, petty fighting, um, firing back in an argument, not from a place of speaking your truth and authenticity, but lying and um, firing back from a place of trying to one up somebody or trying to like, you know, prove them wrong when you know deep down they're, they're right. <laughs> okay, five of pentacles in reverse. Excellent. Letting go of this feeling of lack. Um, uh, lack of acceptance. Wow, that just came through. That's pretty specific, but that resonates with some of you. Um, leaving yourself out in the cold. Being in situations where people are taking advantage of you and leaving you out in the cold. But this is also letting go of leaving yourself out, in, out of the cold. And if you remember, my the title for your video for the end of April was You're Only Betraying Yourself at This Point. Well, with the Three of Swords here and the print, uh, the Page of, Pen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, you got that message and you're starting to see it clearly. You're starting to see what's going on in your life for what it truly is. And finally, underneath all of that, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Excellent. Anxieties, gone. Sleepless nights, gone. Letting go of whatever is hurting you keeping you up at night, keeping you from moving forward, keeping you anxious and whatnot, letting that go. Excellent, Scorpio. Yes. In your storyline, yeah, we've got the two of swords in reverse, no longer being in a rock, but between a rock and a hard place, not cho choosing, not choosing to not look at things anymore, right? Not choosing to see things for what you want them to be instead of choosing to see things for what they really are. You now are choosing to see things for what they really are. With the Three of Pentacles upright. Okay, so this is you guys getting down to business, rolling up your sleeves, and doing the work. Okay? And working with... And when I say doing... And now, what, what my description here, that just sounded like the Eight of Pentacles. And there that might come up, but that's what I'm feeling here. Because here, you're, you're, you're building. You're, you're doing the teamwork within to reach your goals. Okay? So that's what I meant by that. Next, we have... The Fool in reverse with, ah, the world. Excellent. So the Fool in reverse here is talking about not being foolish anymore. 
okay? Again, seeing things for what they truly are. The world is talking about an ending to this foolish cycle. Point blank. I mean, that's pretty clear and concise there, so there you go. <laughs> Next, we have the page or the princess of cups in reverse with ah, the sun in reverse. So here we're talking about a little bit of love. Um, Scorpio, you're coming to terms with the fact that you have been a page of cups emotionally, uh, romantically, actually, is what just came through. And you're coming to terms with the things that you have done that have, the things you have and also haven't done that have helped generate this Three of Swords energy for you. And you feel like, you might feel like all is lost, okay, because of this Page of Cups reality. But the sun is here, uh, but the sun is reversed because, you know, there's still some clouds blocking the sunlight not completely blocking the sunlight because you still can feel the sun through the clouds, okay? The sun is here. But there is a bit of over-emotionality here that I'm picking up on in relation to what you may have lost in relation to some of the things that have gone on in your life recently. But the sun is still shining, okay? It's not as bleak as it seems, all right? There's still just some cloud cover from this storm that is moving out of your out of your life, right? You, I mean... Yeah, in some, in some cases, the storm finishes and clears right away. But if you really think about it, Scorpio, this has been a long-standing storm. This has been a major thing. Like, I'm talking Category 9 hur hurricane-type shit. So it's going to take some time for the, cl for the clouds to clear, for the storm system to really move out of the way. And so then there, there's a bright blue sky again. But understand that the sun will come out, the sun, the, the clouds will clear, and the sky will be bright and clear again, okay? You're almost there. Don't despair. Ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> Next, we have, look at that, the page of wands. So we've got a lot of pages coming out, but they're all reversed so far with mm -hmm, the ace of swords in reverse. Scorpio, this is very, very good. Okay, this is very good. Why? Because you are coming to terms with your spiritual nature and how you've really been lying to yourself for so long, okay? The uh, page, the, the, the wands suit does speak to passion and fire, but to me it also speaks to spirituality. And here you are coming to terms with greater spirituality. You're actually starting to listen to your inner self now and you're starting to see the truth behind all the lies. There is a big, um, there's a lot of maturity that's coming to you right now, Scorpio, during this time period and moving forward, okay? And honestly, I am very, very, very happy to see that for you, okay? This is a big step, and I'm very proud of you for this. Moving forward, Queen of Pentacles with... Oh, the Six of Cups. Look, guys. Look, look, look. First of all, what I'm picking up here is there is a Queen of Pentacles energy around you. This could be you, Scorpio, or it could be someone else that's around you. And the, the, the universe is trying to let you know that whoever this represents for you, this is a soulmate connection. Okay, so when it came to the Page of Cups here and the Sun in Reverse, for those of you that think all is lost in some sort of relationship, some soulmate connection or whatever, understand that this is a soulmate. All is not lost. Okay, you're still going to have to do some work. Don't get me wrong. You're still going to have to pick up the pieces. You're still going to have to clean up the mess. You're still going to have to take responsibility for your role in the situation. But other than that, it's all good, boo. Understand, Scorpio, that we are all human. We all make mistakes, we all have our challenges, and we all have our lessons to learn. And if someone cannot recognize that and, and, and look at you from a place of deep, unconditional love and at least try to be compassionate and understanding for that, then maybe this is someone that you don't really need to be with. Maybe this is someone that you really should just 11-11 let go of. Let them leave your life. Honestly, if that's what they truly wish, and if you and if you're and, and if you're hearing me say that you know all is not lost, but yet this person still leaves your life, then let them go, because ultimately there are plenty of fish in the sea. 
And no one, no one individual only has one soulmate. There are too many damn people in this world for that to be the case, okay? <laughs> so if that happens for you, Scorpio, take the lessons that you learned from this relationship and apply them to the next one. Do not let this shit happen again, okay? I mean, you're at a point of no return now where you really can't even go back. So do not despair because all is not lost, okay? Next, the nine of pentacles in reverse with the four of pentacles in reverse. So you are kind of feeling like the nine of pentacles in reverse. You don't feel secure. You don't feel stable. You don't feel like you have it. You don't feel like you're independent enough. And I say enough for a reason. Um, but that's all stemming from the four of pentacles in reverse in that you're letting go of this, this reality, this old reality. And so it's shaking up your foundation a little bit. You feel, you feel like you may have lost your identity in some cases. Um, but that's because, and, and you know what? You would be right. You would absolutely be right, Scorpio. But that's because this identity that you have lost is false. It's not who you truly are, okay? And if, and if, there's some, if there are some aspects of it that are true to you, you, haven't been, you have not been expressing them from a place of authenticity. You've been expressing them from a place of twisted, I don't know, twisted societal views, I guess is what I want to say. Okay, so yeah, you may have lost a piece of your identity, but that piece of your identity was inauthentic, so you didn't need it. That's all there is to it, boo-boo. Next. The lovers. I really like to see this here for you, Scorpio. Okay, this is, is this could talk about a soulmate relationship, sure. Um, it could talk about a choice between two people, but it could, but see, the thing is, this is a card about choices and it's upright here. So this is saying to me that you are choosing yourself, finally. You are finally coming to terms with yourself. If you haven't done it so far, you're going to be going through a process to help facilitate this choice, to help you see what it is you need to do to be your own best friend. With the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, Scorpio. I am so happy to see this here. Okay, you're choosing yourself and ultimately you are going to get the things that you desire in this world because you're going to Go out there and get it, and you're going to approach it from a place of authenticity, truth, balance within yourself, and it's going to bring you all of the material fulfillment you have ever wanted. The family life that you've always wanted. Yeah? Completion. I mean, the ten, tens are about completion also. So the lovers with the Ten of Pentacles is saying that you're, you're coming to a choice that is going to bring you completion to this physical cycle in your world. Very, very good, Scorpio. Finally, we have ah the Queen of Swords in reverse with, oh my God, death in reverse. And you know what's so funny? Now, death is your card, Scorpio. But you know what is so funny? As, as soon as the Queen of Swords in reverse came out, I was like, yep, of course, Scorpio, we've got to end on some on some icky, icky last stuff, right? But, um, interesting. This is a little harder. This is way more obscure here. I'm trying, I'm really trying to figure this out because we've got, we've had so many good messages of you making progress and moving forward, but we still have death in reverse here. Now, um, what I'm getting, this is, okay, so this is more of, this is a bit of insight for you, Scorpio. The reason why you have, you may have been so um, resistant to death, resistant to your own energy, really, is from Queen of Swords in reverse energy. There could have been uh, a matriarchal figure in your life that taught you some, um, uh, very negative things surrounding death and transformation. Um, you could have adopted a Queen of Swords in Reverse uh, mindset in which you were just, it's like, it's almost like you took death to an extreme and just started trying to, just trying, <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to say it that way. Um, it's, you just took death to an extreme. 
and use it against yourself and others instead of using it as a tool to facilitate uh, healing, transformation, and the expression of greater authenticity. Because you do have the power to do that, Scorpio. Okay, so good. That's not ending on such a bad note. That's more of clarity and advice for you there, Scorpio. So take that as it resonates with you. Yes? All right, Scorpio. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm very happy that we had a much better <laughs> a much better reading for you. You guys are have been going really been going through it lately. Um, and you're wising up, you're leveling up, you're 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 maturing. And that's beautiful. All right, Scorpio, there it is. Thank you so much. Um, I look forward to uh, connecting with you guys for the second half of May. Yeah. Take care. Much love with you. Much love to you. Bye.